Hello out there! This is Turconnell, and welcome back to the Omega server. We are back here in the basement of the Iron Dump and the, uh, Inkwell. Yeah, it's up above us. <laughs> and, oh, there's Amros. Hi, Amros. We have finished the, uh, stairs, and next we're going to be going back to the, uh, the Sugar, Crumb Pro uh, Sugar Cane Project. Bleh, cannot talk anymore. Oh, that's going to be a problem for the day, then. <gasps> I'm scared. All right. Uh, we'll have to probably be careful about the talking. Anyhow, uh, we need to get the storage in place for all that, and a place for crafting paper and books. Amros has, I believe at this point, completed a few other projects down the basement, like uh, cows and such. So, it's up to us to get the sugarcane all in place so that, you know we can have the rest of that. So part of that is going to be coming from where we're going to put it, and the exit point for the sugarcane farm is effectively like that way. Um, if I got the positioning right, it's going to be over here. Technically, it'd be straight below this cobblestone block right here. So we're going to have to dig down in the space below here. Hopefully there's not a whole lot down there, but we're going to have to find out. So, I'm going to have to figure out exactly how to get over to it. I don't remember where exactly that is in relation to the uh, corner of the room over here. So I'm probably going to have to just dig a hallway down a little bit and go over that way. Um, I'll probably end up discussing that a little bit with Am as so we can figure out uh, how we want to actually do that part. So, let me go talk to him, since we already know where he is. Right there. <laughs> and once we have that decision all made, we can get to work. So, I'll be back. Well, everyone decided to come out to the... Uh, New in farm to try to get some ender pearls. It's come out ow, here earlier today, but something has changed since I was here, and it's basically turned into the battle for the end. My gosh, crazy angry endermen everywhere. Trying to get some pearls is now very very difficult. Oof. Yeah. These uh, five stacks are all I've managed to pick up so far. I've been here at least 30, 40 minutes as it is. Ow! Very dangerous. I'm also going to have to repair my sword here pretty quick. Ow, ow, stop. Crap. These guys are noisy. By the way, I've got hostile mob sounds at 5% volume. Just to give you how really loud it is here right now. Ow, ow. Get back in. Good. Get in, get in. That low retaining wall is extremely dangerous. get through these guys to pick up any good stacks of pearls without trying to get killed. Man. Ow. Oop, time to pick. Take a break. Alright. Um, yeah, so it's definitely going to take me a while to try to gather some pearls here. So, I thought I'd just show you this insanity here. So I don't know what happened, but it should be that the Endermen are, um, ow. Yep, stay back. Collect it into that little funnel right here at the back. You can see, like, right there where my cursor is pointing at. Go away. But instead, they're all over the place here, and I have no clue what happened. So this is becoming a lot more difficult to work with. Go away. 
So I will get back to finding these. I'm going to see how many pearls I can get and then head back to the project at hand and we can pick up there. Crap. Okay, that little uh, impromptu trip to the end. Well, still didn't turn out well. But we are back here and now I've begun expanding this room here. Just a little bit out this way. And we're going to end up taking it out that wall. So make our nice little stairs here. And what's going to be over here is a crafting area. So I need to put them some more towards... How far down do I want to go? So I don't exactly have a whole lot of space to work with, hence why I'm going down some. Um, let's see. Let's just go ahead and take this out a little bit more. Maybe we go down some. And part of it is because I want to be able to get this down enough that you know we're not immediately below, immediate, uh, right below the ground level, because um, there are only a couple blocks between right there and the shop level above. It's only like four blocks, so very very small space. So I'm trying to give me a little more work room to work with. Um, which means I still need to see what I can do for... How does that look? That should be fine. And then I want to do that. Okay, that should do. I'll need to throw some lighting in here. Let's see. Two in, or three in. Okay, I'll get well lit it. And let's take it down one more block, and then we can make this our work floor. Yep. Okay. And let's see if I've got enough stone to do some stairs. What I don't use is going to get used in another project. Am and I are not waiting much. <laughs> in fact, we're already beginning work on two projects right now. So you'll end up seeing the next project that we're working on in the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> we're being that productive right now. <laughs> we're going to see how many people we can weird on the server all in one shot. <laughs> Did I actually get a range? Oh, man. Sad. Oops. Oh, I probably need that anyway. How far away are the beacons? Oh! 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 Sad. <laughs> um, I don't know if Am's got any extra spare beakers. If he does, I may borrow one. Because that'll make digging this room just a little bit quicker. You know what? Let me go check on that. So he'd done some wither skull farming recently, and I think he may have said he had managed to get a bunch of beacons up. So if he did, I see you know where he put them. Let me light this space down here. All right, I'll be right back. And we are back. So found the extra beacons, uh, and had to point me in the right direction. And we now have haste two. Yay. So I got a little more digging down here, got a little bit of a room, so something to start working with, and now I can see about getting us to our location that I'm going to start firing stuff up from, roughly. So that is at negative 219, so I've got to take this wall out, one. Blast this way. There's our 219. Okay, so. 
329. Oh. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope. I'm not all here. 219 is right here. That's the Z coordinate. Oops. Oh well. I'll probably need it anyway, because I get to figure out how to deal with this thing. Okay, so this is going to be the primary crafting and storage area. I'm not going to make it quite as elaborate and gigantic as I was originally planning, but we'll make do. <laughs> so what we're going to do is some kind of uh, area of storage, probably down that way a little bit. And I'm going to need to take from here down to 329. So let's go ahead and get over there. One more. There it is. Okay. And because it's in the wall, and I need to actually curve it just a little bit, which means I'm going to need to go around a bend to make an item elevator appear correctly. So let's go in. If I were to actually say take it into the wall, one, I need to go two blocks in. So one, two, and then we can hang a left and come up right here. Okay. So if I aim it right, it'll spit out right here. Okay, let's go ahead and put some cobble back in here. So if this is our spot, I'm just going to just mark it. Um, sure, why not? <laughs> um, now to figure out how we're going to do the storage. There's one of our new guys. Sonic Shadow. Had a couple new people on the server here in the last couple of weeks. I think I may have mentioned that before. We've gotten another one or two new ones here. Um, so if you want to see those people, there you'll have links to all their channels in the uh, description. And how do we want to do this? So I've actually got to take the storage up just a little bit. Give me a second to stare. Alright, so I decided to make a little bit of a change on what I was originally going to be doing here. We're actually going to take this and go this way just a little bit more. Yay! Okay, a lot of iron down here. Just going to put that back there. Um, I need torches down here. And... Let's see. Negative 226. So I need to go 2. Okay, so let's... Hmm. All right, we need to go down the basement. So we're going to have to figure out exactly where we're going to place it. And then I decided to do a little bit of design on the stairs. I just haven't gotten that completed here. Um, I'm going to get some wood put in there. Do I have... Hmm, spruce might work. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to get distracted. Let's go try that. I'll do. Yeah, I need four more. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So I need one more of you. Doink. And we can throw the rest in here. There we go. 
Yeah, that'll do. We can put add some extra to design or something at some point. Uh, anyhow, heading down to the basement. Let's get rid of the stairs. And now we wait. Yeah, it's a bit of a ways down here. Chickens. Yeah, and I'm back in range of our other beacons. And also down here, in order to make sure I could get to all the sugar candy we got coming here, um, I added more chests down as well as the stairs here. Let's see. <laughs> We're almost full again. <laughs> so 226 would only be right here. So we could easily go over just like a little bit more so we have some space for running the water in. So let's take it over to what it, 229 here. We'll go there for now. I'm not going to get the entire storage system set up. Uh, won't have time in this episode for that. But we can get the room laid out. And that it will be the important part of what we're going to be working on here. So, if we went down to negative 229. So I need to go three more blocks. Right here. And light level is eight. Good. Okay. Actually, we'll go and put a mark there. Okay, so what that gives us is this space all right there for uh, sorting and alternate shuffling. Because I have to start, um, once I get everything in here, I'm going to have to shuffle it around to various parts of the room. Because we're going to be setting up, or sending up not only sugarcane, but the other byproducts of the other two farms down there. So we've got now down in the basement a chicken and cow farm. Also known as the other pieces we're going to need for uh, the books and quills. So, um, as you should know, if you don't, well, you already know learn. Um, the two options you have for books is a basic book, which is three paper as well as leather, and that gives you a book. And then you got a book, in which you can then do a ink sack and a feather to get a book and quill. So for actual written books, you know, handing things out and such. And that's what we're gonna be crafting in here. So I need to have spaces for all that, plus we're gonna have the byproduct of chicken and uh, steak, or uncooked meat, depending on how we're, what we're doing at the time. So I've gotta have sorting for all of that. So I think we're, ease of use we're gonna stick um, probably do the we can probably do the uh, like meat stuff over here um, you know uncooked chicken cooked chicken uncooked uh, steak cooked steak and then have uh, feathers leather and sugar cane over here then probably have an well, we'd probably after that we won't really need a whole lot more. We can probably have just like an alternate storage like right here or something for paper. So I think that should work. Yeah, I think that'll do. What we're gonna end up doing here is taking things up a bit because I need to have space to store it all. So I've given myself four spaces here but I need to have a sorter and the sorter means I have to go up uh, what an extra two three blocks so yeah so initial sorters are gonna be up right above here and then everything else is gonna be funneled around to their respective locations I could probably just use this space right here, some of it. Maybe take this wall out a couple more. Um, let's go ahead and try that for the moment. See how much space that gives us. And then we can see how plying where we're going to start sticking all the chests and such. So give me a moment to uh, do a little more digging and we'll be back. Okay, got this space dug out a little bit more so I can actually start uh, doing some work back here. But as I've been thinking, I'm going to need a little more space in this going that way. Well, let's see. Hold on.
Actually, I don't want to do this. Because I need to be able to make some kind of seriously insane area here to build off of. And there goes Am. Bye, Am. <laughs> Between the uh, cuts we've been discussing at one of our other projects, we've, we're actually simultaneously working on. <laughs> oh boy, we're scaring ourselves now. Um, <clears throat> so I need to figure out how we're going to do this exactly, which means I'm going to need probably a couple chests. So let's grab some wood over here. Yay, beacons. So, let's see if that uh, may not be enough. Make a few more. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I need to have space above where I'm actually going to start. Means I need to take out. I need a slower pick. Okay. So if we put chests right here, hmm. How can I? Slide this so that it will actually fit. So I need to be able to make sure that I've got the space for planted more chests behind it. X. may have to take that ceiling up slightly more as well. Okay, so if I bent that thing over... <clears throat> ...then pull it in... ...I could have... ...I need more chest to test with. <laughs> um, give me a second while I... Get some preparations in here. So I need to really think about this now. Um, got a couple ideas on what I might do for this. So we need large score, large scale storage for all this. And I need to figure out how to actually slide everything together and kind of hook all this together. Um, so yeah, give me just a few more minutes. Well, it's been know, about 30 minutes or more. <laughs> that I've been actually playing with this. So this is going to be the effective design. It gives us eight chests, um, eight double chests, I should say, in the set that will allow me to um, use per set of items. So that should give us a pretty good sized storage in here. And it's just a matter of hauling around the water channel. So I've got to take this up three, which looks like I should be able to pull off. Um, where am I at? What am I at? So I'm at 56. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, so 63. 61. 61. 62, 63. So that's right here. So that should actually, it's going to be pretty close to ground all. I mean, as I said, there's only like three or four blocks up above us right here. Yeah, especially once I go over that way a little bit. Um, but that should, I think, still cover it. So, we're going to go for it. Um, it's the only thing otherwise I could take the stairs down, I guess, a little bit more and dang run with it. Um, 
But yeah, this is gonna <laughs> be a lot of work. Me and Am have our work cut out for us, both on this and what we're plotting outside of this, which is where you've uh, been, or what the uh, alternate conversation was about. That's also going to keep us busy for a while. We just did the math on the uh, materials needed, and oh boy. <laughs> we were uh, kind of laughing at ourselves. Most because we both know we're, in, we're going to end up doing that build, and it's going to be utterly insane. So, yeah. But, as I said, this is going to take a while, and I'm going to be running along on this episode really quick here. So, I'm going to go ahead and break right here, and we'll come back to this project. Um, the next episode is going to be the other project that I've been discussing here and there. So you'll find out what that is uh, next week. So for now... Hope you enjoyed the episode. That wasn't exactly a whole lot, but as I said, we're getting something set up here and getting it in place. But hit like if you enjoyed the episode. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and would like to come along and see more. And until next time, this is Turconil signing off. I'll see y'all later.